Oui, j'ai peur que c'est vrai. Maintenant, il me suit. Wari qui n'arrive pas un peu plus près. Comprenez? Oui. C'est tout. Au revoir. Okay, now, uh... You ready to answer some questions now? 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. This time it's my turn to ask some questions. Like, who are you? That's right. This time it's your turn to explain yourself. Let's see. What to ask? How about, who are you? And why were you following me? I don't suppose you could just hand over the file and let me go? Ah! That's right. This time it's your turn to explain yourself. Let's see. Let's see. What to ask? How about... Who are you? And why are you following me? I don't suppose you could just hand over the file and let me go? That's right. This time it's your turn to explain yourself. Let's see, let's see, what to ask. How about, who are you and why were you following me? I don't suppose you could just hand over the file and let me go? Ah, oh, all right, all right. That's right, this time it's your turn to explain yourself. Let's see, let's see, what to ask. How about, who are you and why were you following me? I don't suppose you could just hand over the file and let me go? Ah, oh, all right, all right. The name's Slick McQuick. I'm a private investigator. I was hired by Rosie LaFleur to return a stolen file of some sort. When I saw you sneaking out of her house, I put two and two together and assumed you were the thief. My name's Slick McQuick. I'm a private investigator. I was hired by Rosie LaFleur to return a stolen file of some sort. When I saw you sneaking out of her house, I put two and two together and assumed you were the thief. You Americans have a saying now. When you assume something, it's like you're an ass. You Americans have a saying, you know? When you assume something, it's like you're an ass. Something like that. Hey, listen, can you at least untie my hands? It's not like I'm going anywhere with you pointing my gun at me. You Americans have a saying, don't you? When you assume something, you're an ass. Something like that. Hey, listen, can you at least untie my hands? It's not like I'm going anywhere with you pointing my gun at me. You Americans have a saying about assuming, you know? You Americans have a saying, you know? When you assume something, it's like you're an ass. Something like that. Hey, listen, can you at least untie my hands? It's not like I'm going anywhere, anywhere with you pointing my gun at me. Cut. My apologies, detective. I see my precautions were very unnecessary. Action. You see, when you started asking about the file, I thought you were after it for yourself. Now that I know your side of the story... Go. Go. You see, when you started asking about the file, I thought you were after it for yourself. Now that I know your side of the story... So you admit, you do have the file! Cut. <laughs> okay, action. So you admit, you do have the file! Cut. Action. So you admit you have the file. But of course, I have every right to have it. But, wait! I came here for one purpose. And that is to make some money so I can open up a business in my home country. Cut. Action. 
Also, I've been very busy doing odd jobs. Plumbing, <laughs> Oh god. Action. And so I've been very busy with odd jobs, just plumbing jobs for Miss LaFleur. I just received the okay from the corporate headquarters two days ago. Here's a better... Here's a letter. <laughs> Action. And so I've been very busy with odd jobs, such as plumbing for Miss LaFleur. <laughs> Action. <coughs> Wait. <coughs> Action. And so I've been very busy uh, doing odd jobs such as plumbing for my slow floor. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You just take the other shot. Okay. And so I've been very busy doing odd jobs such as plumbing for Miss LaFleur. Uh, but two days ago I got the letter from corporate and they gave me the okay. Good. Action. They also sent me the secret syrup for me. <coughs> Secrets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still rolling. You know the recipe for the yes. secret syrup? Just go they ahead. also sent me the recipe for a secret syrup syrup. It's in this folder, which Miss LaFleur was after. You mean... Yeah. She cut. was using me this whole time. Cut, that cut, slut. Cut. Big. No. Just, just go. go. Okay. That's right. Miss LaFleur was using me to do her dirty work. But how did she know you'd have the recipe? She always asked me how things were go- She always asked me how things were going. I always assumed she was just trying to do small talk to be polite. I must have mentioned my plans for the factory a dozen times. I guess I didn't realize how closely she was listening. That's right, Miss LaFleur was using you for her dirty work. But how did she know you'd have the recipe? That's right, Miss LaFleur was using you to do her dirty work. But how did she know you'd have the recipe? She always asked me about how things were, and I thought she was just trying to be polite and make conversation. I must have mentioned the factory a dozen times, and I guess she was listening a little bit too closely. But how did she know I'd run into you? That's why she insisted I stay at her house and work. And she left the house. She was setting up for the prime... She was setting me as your prime suspect. I probably had fingerprints all over that. But there's no way she could know I would run into you. That's why she insisted for me to stay and work while she left the house. She was settling up for me as your prime suspect. I probably have my fingerprints all over the counter. And even if you didn't know, you didn't find those, I'm sure she would have had conveniently remembered my being there all alone. You're running into me. But there's no way she could have known I would run into you. That's why she insisted I stay and work when she left the house. She was setting me up as your prime suspect. I probably had my fingerprints all over the counter. And even if you didn't find those, I'm sure she would have conveniently remembered my being there all alone. You running into me was just a coincidence. Action. That's why she insisted I stay and work when she left the house. She was setting me up as your prime suspect. I probably had fingerprints all over the counter. And even if you didn't find those, I'm sure she would have completely remembered for being there all alone. That's why she insisted I stay and work when she left the house. She was setting me up as your prime suspect. I probably had fingerprints all over the counter. And even if you didn't find those, I'm sure she would have conveniently remembered my being there all alone. You're running into me was just coincidence. To think we're both fooled. So, cut. <laughs> what do we do now? We still have Rosie to deal with. I just might have an idea. Cut.